to Abernathy. Two South Australians combining, and Abernathy from half back flank. Puts it over the centre wing. Jess up high, can't quite take the mark. It comes through the back. The racehorse, Ricky Barham, hand passes over to Collins. Collins from the pocket, swings it, but not far enough. And one point comes on the board, kicked by Darren Collins. So it's as it was at three quarter time. That's a three point margin in favour of Collingwood. Strawn to bring the ball back into play for the Tigers. He's had a wonderful duel with Brian Taylor. Taylor has played some marvellous, unselfish football, figuring in a number of goals and contributing a couple himself. To the outer side of the ground, Jeff, well tackled, loses it. Mullane, short to half forward, but effective. And Smith takes the mark. Greg Smith, one goal to his credit. That was kicked in the third term. And Collingwood, desperate to increase their lead, the four-minute mark of this final term. Realising a place in the five could hang on the result of this game and knowing that they're kicking into this breeze. Although it's starting to drift across the ground, it's still possibly favouring the end of which Richmond is kicking. One point only. 72 plays 68. Favouring the Magpies. To the outer side of the ground again goes Strawn. Sakaski, a good mark. On the half-back line, looking to put Richmond down towards their attacking zone. Foley was the target, unable to find him. Close to the boundary line, kept in play. Receiving it was Phillips. Back towards Sakaski again. This time he can't take the mark. Bottled up on all fours. Jess goes in. Wits is there as well. And the umpire has come in and said, I'll give it to Richmond. I don't think the Collingwood fans agree with it, Sandy. <laughs> A bounce will now take place. Played on. Got the handball away. Tim Jett comes away with a wry smile on his face. And the ghost can do nothing about it. So a bounce or a ball up. Was signaled. Jess beaten. Paul hurriedly gathers little distance. The umpire calling play on. Jess to ground once again, but the ball is held. Collingwood fans not liking it. And another bounce. Proper decision though, Sandy. Jess having no chance to get rid of that ball. And once again, Smith will throw the ball up. Manson gets the tap down. Driven out of the danger zone by Jepp. It's tapped on. Foley's hand pass was smothered, but a free kick has been found. And uh, it'll go to Richmond's Tommy Crebin. And so Crebin on centre wing. Favours the drop punt. Towards half forward. Foley from behind, no chance of marking from there with the Greg Phillips in front of him. And uh, Foley very fortunate that Phillips didn't take the mark. Normally Greg Phillips would hold that one. But uh, this time we see a push in the back going the way of Collingwood against Foley. And the Wes Fellows will come out of it with the free kick. And the Fellows. What about going across the ground? Now it floats it in towards the centre. Punched away by Poole. Williams coming through. The pack forms and the bounce will take place in the centre of the ground. 72 to 68. Four points to margin in favour of Collingwood. Seven minutes into the final term here at VFL Park. And a very tight last quarter. Tapped over the back. Jess. Took his eye off the ball. And Collingwood through the agency of Wits will go forward again. The left foot drop punt. Taylor comes steaming out. Can't complete the mark. Jeff is there for Richmond in defence. Gets the handball out wide towards James. Runs his full distance, then goes long across into wing. Rioli is loose there. Sneaking away from Williams. Short in towards half forward. Foley takes the mark. Plays on straight away. Bomber James run all the way down. Spears out the pass and it's a fucker. And Greg Smith comes away for Collingwood. Oh, the pressure's really on. Banks, short, and towards the boundary line. Sensibly so. And the throw-in to take place at centre wing. Yes, well, James 